Hey yo, what's going guys, Boy here, and today we're going to be looking at some of the Southwest Florida leaks that have come out in the Southwest Florida Discord or in some other people's servers. Now, we're going to be checking these leaks out and everything about them in a second. Now, before we do, I'll let you guys know a few things. First things first, I got a Discord group, as you can tell right here, this is a Hypebots official Discord group. You should definitely join it if you want to, you know, talk to me, look at the Southwest Florida leaks, suggest car builds, go to media, do anything like that. You can join my Discord group for that. I have a Roblox group with Roblox merch if you're interested in buying something there. And I have some socials you can follow all the links in the description below as well. One more thing is if we hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year, I will be doing an IRL car review on my real life car. It's sitting right outside and we have less than two months to do it. So if you guys want to see an IRL car review, get as many people to subscribe in these next two months and we will be doing an IRL car review. So yeah, if you guys do like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification every time I upload a new video. But yeah, when do we get into the Southwest Florida leaks, which include a ton, a ton of cool things, new cars, and um, hopefully the update comes out soon. I don't know when, but let's just find out. But yeah, let's start scrolling through our list of things. I'm going to start from whenever they finish the uh, five I don't even, I think that's right, but yeah. Uh, first of all, McLaren looks very nice. Very, very clean look to the car. And there's a ton of stuff, so I'm going to be going a little bit quickly through some of it and then kind of skipping over some other stuff. But yeah, then we have the 675 LT in blue looking very nice. I love McLarens. McLarens are good. The P1 is overrated, in my opinion. Everyone kind of says it's a really cool car. It is, but since so many people talk about it and so many people fanboy over it, it's kind of overrated, in my opinion. But yeah, we did some quick testing, and there's performance improves at the end of this week. It's really funny. Okay, so... Oh, performance as in... I thought it was, I meant for cars, and I was, like, having the major brain fall right there. But yeah, moving on. We have the 765 LT starting off. Very, very nice. I love the 765 LT, as you can tell there. 720S as well. I'm pretty sure I should have... I, I said 70, 765 LT. I don't know why I said 720, but obviously with the little hood things there. It's definitely a 720, but very, very nice car, to be honest. Had a whole debate there. Very, very nice. But moving on, we have the, uh, I want to say 458. Very, very nice car. Lighting uh, at the moment in this picture, not the greatest. But hey, I'm kind of curious. I do want to see this car in action. Should be around the 200 mile an hour car, at least. But yeah. <laughs> Optimizing this game is dookie. Very nice. Imagine if they added the Ferrari Enzo. That would be sick. Anyways, uh, Goo Goo Gaga, it's not done. The 765LT is still being worked on. But oh man, oh man. Come on, tell me the 765LT doesn't look good. It is an amazing looking car. And you guys cannot tell me otherwise. But yes, um, moving on. Probably won't update for a while. This is on the 19th of, well, um, last month. Uh, so, uh... Probably won't update for a while. It'll probably be an update or so. Maybe map improvements. I don't know. Side note tuner active for what's it called side note. The car tuner will be inactive for now. So we're like, okay. Um, Kai's gone for a month, so no cars. Basically, never mind. The update is gonna take a little longer. That's it's all fine there. Then we get the pictures of three incredibly, incredibly new cars here. Uh, let's see. We get the P1, which is kind of being hidden by the lighting there, but oh my god, it still looks pretty good. Not fanboying, it just looks good. Then we have the La Ferrari, which looks very, very clean, and the 918. I'm pretty. Are these remodels? They're pretty much remodels, yeah. But they look very, very nice. There's another picture of the 918 there. Uh, the La Ferrari and the well, I was gonna say Ferrari P1, but the McLaren P1 there. Very interesting, very nice remodels too, looking very clean. But then again, it's also in the Blender export or export in general, which made it look nicer. But yeah, um, the 765 LT is complete. I'm waiting for this to come out. I'm buying this the second it comes out, and I'm driving this car every single day until I get one in real life. I'm maybe not every single day, but I'm getting one in real life. Mark my words. 765 LT will be mine. Then we got more, very, a little bit more detailed, more lighting pics of the 765 LT. Looking incredibly, incredibly nice as always. Uh, then we got a new Audi. Very, very cool now. Uh, what Audi is this actually? Is this the S5 Sportback? Man, the, uh, I'm just not going to question it. It's not, it doesn't have the RS badging, but like, it looks... What is this? I'm actually kind of kind of curious. We're gonna we're gonna see if there's more pictures of that as we go. Enjoy your Lambos where you can. They're gone. Yep. Um, 
Let's see, we got Bentley coming out, Bentley Continental GT, probably the Continental GT. Uh, let's keep going down here. More license plate. I already made them. We don't have colors. Yeah, so then we might get license plates in the game, which are incredibly, incredibly cool. Uh, custom license plate. What should I name my license plate? Give me a license plate ideas in the comments below, because I'm kind of also kind of curious of what you guys would think of. Uh, let's see. But then we kind of go into what is going to be the crazy part of the next few updates, which is going to be the coming out of wide body and just body kits in general so we have the rx7 with the body kit here so this is a front body kit here i'm not sure which one it is i know it's probably not rocket money but it does look really really nice there's more pictures of some more kits coming out in the bottom of the uh discord we have some cadillacs coming out i'm gonna pre pretty sure this is a ct5 or something like that. I'm not really fond of Cadillacs. Cadillacs are just there, except for the Escalade, which is always everywhere, and because everyone has one now, apparently. Then we have the Lexus, I want to say 350 something remodel. I don't even know Lexus is at all either, but yeah. Uh, by the way, no livery with the Wissack Passage. Wow, okay, I'm not even gonna try. Um, 918, probably will have no livery. It's probably just very hard. I don't work in Blender, but yes, very, very hard, probably. Um, then we got an Ultima, kind of sitting in the background. Is this li don't tell me the Ultima is limited as well. That would be crazy if it was limited. Uh, okay. New garage menu. Do I want to like this? Mm, maybe. Okay, it's an interesting concept. I... Does this... Oh, no, this would be the dealership. Oh, no, it's the garage. But... Man, I don't, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that one at all. It's too big and too bulky. Manufacturer, though. I do like the manufacturer looks. Um, so you can find what car you want specifically. But I've gotten so used to it. I've just figured everyone out. Uh, everyone, this deserves a ping. Nice to know it pinged everyone. Ultima. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The remodel of the LaFerrari. The Ultima sitting there. Ultima driver memes. We got RS. Oh, RS7, that's what it was. Interesting. Okay, no, or no, this is a different color, so it means a different car, but still, 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 very good. We have a Rocket Buddy RX7 kit here. Okay, okay, so is it the same car as before? Probably. Anyways, uh, we have the Hennessy Venom GT sitting right here. Incredibly, incredibly nice. Only 20 I made, probably would be a limited, correct me if I'm wrong. So, in the next few updates, we might see a Hennessy Venom with a limited package come out, which I'm going to assume everyone is going to make very, very quick. And then we're going to move on down to the La Ferrari, the P1, the Prius, the Toyota Mirai. I haven't seen one of these before. Uh, probably don't want to. Looks mid, to be honest. I do like the rims, though. Those are kind of wavy. Wee. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on. We have... Okay, 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 okay. Tell me which one this is without getting it wrong. Food could be, it probably is a Subaru, the Subaru BRZ, and or the Toyota GT86, or the Sikon FRS, whichever one it decides itself and wants to be, but it's probably the BRZ because of the Rocket Bunny Boy package. But anyways, it's one of the three. I'll figure that one out later. Anyways, or is it the Rocket Bunny? It probably is a Rocket Bunny challenge, or challenge, man, I'm, okay. Rocket Bunny, why, no, I'm gonna stop speaking, anyway, 720S, more pictures there, we have the RX-7 Rocket Bunny kit right there, I said it right that time, and I'm pretty sure that's not even a Rocket Bunny kit, but I'm going to assume it is, every single time, um, what's it called, we have the, more pictures of the, what's it called, L remodeled P1, La Ferrari, and the, what's it called, the, the, something something, 918 with no livery, that's allegedly going to be limited. Maybe. Then we have a picture of what the RX-7 was kind of based off of, maybe. Then the BRZ again. With a pretty nice look to it, to be honest. Then we got a 350Z, according to this message here. Which still looks very nice. My headset decided to turn itself off, but I'm not listening to anything. We're still gone on and, well, looks pretty nice for now. Uh, or, no wait, what is this? Is this the same car? Because they don't... I'm uh, not gonna question it. Anyways, moving on. Raft is gone. There's gonna be a Halloween event probably, which is very, very fun and interesting looking. Is that a per- okay, you know, not moving on. Uh, we don't lock stuff behind a PayPal. This is gonna cost gash in game. So, um, we're gonna have wide body kits. 
and this is going to cost in-game cash so that's pretty good that's pretty good we're not gonna have to pay for extra game passes to get some wide bodies which is interesting and pretty good oh uh, we have ultima i think that's an ultima as well we have some carbon fiber packages which just pretty much came out like as i tried starting to record this video which we have some pretty good wing options pretty good like mimic r8 i'm trying to see where i found like a like a full image of that which is Interesting. I think it was in Joji's server where somebody was like, don't tell- yeah, one of these. I don't even know what this is. I'm not gonna question it, but it's there, and um, it might be added to the game. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what car, what game, what thing I should do, play, review, and all that good stuff. Uh, if you guys want to see me play a VR game, uh, tell me that in the comments below as well, and I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.